Uh, let's do storytelling. Yeah. Let's do storytelling. Let's get Mike Eastbound and Hatton Jordan. <laughs> we need a chick up here. Yes. No. Ladies. No. Rachel doesn't like to do storytelling. Uh, Thomas. Uh, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas is dark. We bring Thomas up here. We have a dark little element to this story. We're going to do a storyteller, folks. Storyteller. Now, what I'm going to do is get three different writing styles for the people behind me a popular story for them to tell. Then we begin telling the story, passing it off from each person to each person to tell the story in a weird way like it never would have been told before. Now, we have done Suicide Note, uh, Santa Claus List, so I'm, I'm like really spreading out the writing styles because it makes it more fun. The more uh, bizarre you get with it, the bizarre it gets. Anybody have a writing style in their mind? Dear John! Stalker letter, yes. Stalker, there you go. Like he's done that shit before. <laughs> it's like, hey, what an example? You probably got one in your pocket. All right, stalker letter, what else? Dear John. Oh, you got dumped and stalked. There you go, okay, dear John. Now we need something totally unrelated to dear John and stalker letter. Ransom note? Popsicles? No. John Madden. John Madden. No. Children's book. Children's book. There we go. That'll be cool. And that'd be any kind of children's book. So you've got fucking what? Now, now I need a story. Story of Adam and Eve. Gilligan's Island. Jesus Christ. Gilligan's Island. <laughs> <laughs> we did, we've never done Gilligan. Y'all know Gilligan's Island. Yeah. Three hour tour. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do we're gonna do Gilligan's Island, and we're gonna do a three hour tour up to the point where like we'll figure it out. So you guys just figure a story out. So so we need a stalker letter. See stalker letter, stalker letter, stalker letter. Uh, Thomas, you'll be the stalker. Okay. Because I think you can do that. You can pull that off. A uh, a uh, let's see, dear John, we'll, we'll let you be dear John. And, and you're the you're the children's story. You're the children's story, <laughs> stalker, dear John. They're telling the story of Gilligan's Island. We'll start from the three-hour tour, the beginning of the movie, you know, like the thing. And we'll start with the stalker letter and Gilligan's Island. Here we go. <coughs> I don't know if you're aware of this, but while you were away for three hours, I was sitting in the bathroom, in the stall, just waiting with the wig on so no one would know I was a man. <laughs> I wanted to hear you pee. <laughs> I had my tape recorder ready. In three hours, I just waited and touched myself in anticipation of you twinkling. <laughs> Just alone, a man in a wig with his thoughts. <laughs> I had no idea where this is going. <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. I'm your substitute teacher, Mr. Jordan. Great. We're going to read a story today. It's called Gilligan's Island. Page one. See Ginger's tits. <laughs> I'll hold that around so you can see it. Can you see it in the back? All right. Now Ginger has big tits. I want to be on that island. I wrote over the rule book. With my magic marker, I will change that and put... I love you, Ginger. Let's kill Gilligan. <laughs> the professor can make toys for you. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. <laughs> they fingerprinted me as a substitute teacher, but I used my brother's hand. <laughs> Dear lovey, Things have been going well between us. Ever since I saw Mary Ann in the shower. <coughs> I've got the professor working on a bit of Viagra for me. <laughs> I'm afraid it's over for us. Good luck with the skipper. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Gilligan. Something about the way you wear that hat, all folded down like this, a circumcised penis. <laughs> it's been so aroused. And you don't know it, but when you're picking coconuts for the professors and nations, I'm in the palm tree. <laughs> I'm reaching for my coconuts. <laughs> Sometimes when the skipper hits you over the head with his hat, I wish his, my cock was his hat. <laughs> Slapping it against your face. <laughs> my little buddy. You will never be a substitute teacher. Maybe a novel.